Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for, you know, just being able to be a part of my life uh, through my ups and my downs, being able to know we can support each other in this beautiful community is gratefully appreciated and what a true blessing it is to me so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely going to come your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl is about to upload her next video also um, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of content in my video, you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you uh, feel like the video is very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times and trying to find out about their life purpose or even their soul path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support that you have been giving me and it's so gratefully appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, I'm feeling so good today. You know, it's just a blessing to be able to see 42. I turned 42 yesterday. And it's like, I feel, it's like a whole new day and age right now. But anyways, this beautiful meditation music I'm listening to in the background, if you can hear it. Let me turn it up just a little bit more so you can hear it. Um, 963 hertz and the equal 99 so that's good uh, manifest your deepest desires align yourself with the universe and frequency music nine hours oh that's three nines so that's good um and i'll post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas forgiveness doesn't mean that you have to re rebuild a old friendship like yesterday it was like a true eye-opener for me um you know how i always tell y'all you know it's just like you know when you're going on to a different path or even you know just start looking at things from a different perspective you know life has to teach you things and it's just like if you want to be able to get out of a certain situation you have to be able to look at everything from all different directions oh and yeah i forgot to show y'all Y'all, I got me some different candles today from the Dollar Tree. And if Miss uh, Miss Linda, is she watching this, you know, she's from New Orleans uh, Gardner. She's the one who got me hipped up to these. And I found this candle, and I love lavender. So I got me a lavender candle, and I smell like lavender all through my room. Then I got these, uh, let me show y'all. Breathe. It's a breathe candle and zen it shows zen i don't know if you can really see it, it yeah it says zen on there and then i have um a blue one that says renewal and energy and the best one i love because it's like the thing that i say all the time namaste and then it has mahogany and tea in it so miss linda if you see this video thank you for hipping me up to those candles because i shown up bottom this morning and it just made me feel so good because you know like sometimes you're like uh, yeah you buy these and they gonna work but it made me feel very zenful it was like you know i'm, I'm you know i'm a new age so it's like my mindset is all totally different. Like yesterday, I got turned up on my birthday, you know, and it was like I did it yesterday. And I'm like, this is not me no more. I cannot drink. I can't smoke. I can't do none of these things like I used to anymore. And it was just like I hear my dad was like, OK, yeah, I was just wondering if you were going, you know, you're going to catch on to that. And it was just like, yeah, it was my birthday. So I entitled, you know, myself to have fun. But it was like when I did it, I was just like. This is not me. <laughs> this is not me. But yes, but it was like, it was a prime example. Like yesterday, um, like I told y'all, there was a lot of people that I have like blocked 
got off of my Facebook. It was just like, I just don't need this type of people around me. I don't need the, you know, the, the, you know, jealous type vibe coming from people. I just don't, if I feel that way about you, or if I feel like you, you know, you support me, but you only support me on certain things, but you feel, you know, like if anything, if I post about me and my dad, people, you know, they shy away, even though they were like, Oh, I believe you and this and this and that. That's fine, but don't, you know, don't be iffy about it. Either you're with me or you're not. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't try to convince anybody of anything. And I'm damn sure not going to sit up here and try to, you know, tell you you're wrong about anything either. It is what it is. So I should really try not to talk about my dad too much. So it's just like, you know, since those situations, like my daughter, she had sit up here and wish me happy birthday. So it was like all the people that I know that they, they ain't no way in hell I'll deal with. <laughs> was telling me happy birthday and I'm like why I don't even like you why are you telling me happy birthday and it was just like Rosalind I heard my dad say baby <laughs> don't do that you cannot be that way you have to be able to forgive and let go and I said I forgive and let go I let the asses get up clean up out of my life he's like no <laughs> that's not what I was talking about you have to be able to forgive and just because you forgive doesn't mean you have to go back and mend a relationship with them you can be cordial you can say thank you and just keep it moving that's all you have to do you ain't got to be all giving the side eye and stuff like that like why the hell are you even sitting up here wishing me happy birthday no you don't care for me you know and then it was just like people sending me friend requests and I was like I, could, I took you off of there on purpose so why are you trying to come back? I'm like, no, <laughs> no. So I just had to tell him, I said, thank you, everybody, for wishing me happy birthday, you know, and all this. And it's just like, and some of my love bugs, y'all are uh, friends with me on Facebook, and y'all make me feel so welcome by telling me, you know, you, you left me little sweet messages, and y'all almost had me crying, and I really appreciate it. Uh, all the kind words you said to me it was very beautiful but it was just like it had me really thinking it was just like you know what if I'm ready to get out of my situation I have to really start looking at every angle that you know if you're a changed person you have to be a changed person inside and out I can't sit up here and be preaching to y'all and be feeling a certain type of way about the people that I've exited out my life and that's really true and I tell y'all you know I tell y'all when I mess up you know ain't no problem with it because it's all everything you deal with is a learning experience because if I see a train wreck ready to happen for me and I end up having that train wreck I want to be able to tell you to so in case if you're in a certain situation and you get into that same type of thing because it's like all of us tend to resonate with things and it's just like you know we're going through this cycle that you know you you're purifying yourself you're wiping your slate clean you know the karma cycle cycles and just like i put on uh y'all the other day about the people you're connecting with it can be recycled habits that you still carry along even though you might not see it and there's sometimes we don't see the things that we do or the energy we tend to give out unless you know it's you know you see it mirrored to you and you're like oh that's so ugly and then you I'm like well damn i kind of do that too you know and they'll make you say okay that's what we're trying to show you and it was just like you know i heard my dad telling me yesterday you know because it's like my dad does a lot of things like people used to say stuff on a sly to him and i used to even get aggravated like daddy i don't like them because they did you this way he's like it's dumping. he's like i'm glad you you know you took my back you got my back but don't be mad at them because i sure ain't you know because he's like you know i forgive and let go you know you just can't put your energy keep your energy in that same 3d world that you used to be in you know if i'm on a you know 45d situation i can't keep going to my 3d ways and it was just like you know, drinking, smoking, all that stuff, that's 3D way. And I, I just can't do it. And I said, I'm not anybody else who does it, you know, but I just can't go back to that life anymore. And it's like when I can look at myself and keep it real, like I'm keeping it real with y'all, it's just like everything is a learning experience. But if you want to be able to rise to the next level and you're wondering why you're still at that same level, you have to pay attention to the actions that you're pushing out towards you and your universe what what you know what kind of vibes are you pushing out you know you can't be a resentful person yeah you don't have to 
you know, just because it's somebody that, you know, I try to say, you know, just because we're not friends, don't make you my enemy. And that really is true. It's just, but when I think of it, you know, I wouldn't have been thinking about you, but as soon as you popped up on my daggone uh, notifications list and it just, ugh. <laughs> you know, and I try not to be that way. I really do. Because it was like, I was talking to my dad. I said, dad, you, you don't understand. I'm like the female version of you back when, you know, you were doing the, you know, you know, your first movie when it first came out. Like if somebody say, well, you know, such and such didn't like it and they didn't either. He was like, I don't care. <laughs> and I'm like that. You know, and he's just like, oh gosh, baby, you can't be that way. <laughs> you can't be that way. So it's just like, I, I, you know, and I, I understand that I get that now. And I'm looking at the universe. Hey, I get it. Hey, we like this. You know, I'm going to talk to you and it's like that. But it's just like, you know, it, it's just amazing how you get taught lessons a certain kind of way. You have to be able to be okay with that. It's just like when people are not in your life anymore and they come reoccurring into your life, maybe they just need that closure. Like when you're, you know, you're getting ready to go towards a new life and a new vibe of circle or even, you know, just, just being a, a whole new different person. Cause it's just like a lot of people have told me, Rosalind, you know, that they know me for years and know I was that rah, rah, rah girl. Like I'm telling you, I used to fight folks. I mean, when I used to wear my different wigs and stuff like that, it could be twisted all the way backwards and I'm still fighting. And people are just laughing at me like, Rosa, what are you doing? <laughs> And I can laugh at that now, but it's like me, I'm not that type of person no more. I say I got to place my energy in something positive. I'm not, you know, the only way that will happen if you like place hands on me. That's a whole different story. But it's just like if I know I can alleviate that kind of issue, I'd rather walk away. You know, I say I just don't have time for it. I just start taking people out my life. I know that I got folks that be spying on me here. I don't care you know that lets me know that obviously I'm still on your mind it, it don't bother me you know but it was just like yesterday that situation had me look at everything totally different and maybe you need to too when you have people in your life that you know no longer need to be there and you got them out your life if they come reoccur that means it, it it's coming to closure and they and God universe will place them in your life just to see how you're gonna react to them are you gonna be that kind giving person and just say, hey, you know, be cordial. You ain't got to sit up here and be friends with them. Be cordial and allow them to know, yeah, they know what they did to you. Trust me, they remember what they did. But they just going to be figured out like, oh, are they going to be stupid enough to let me back in their life? No, I ain't going to be stupid enough to let you in my life. I remember what you did. But I can still be cordial and cordial and go about my business. You know, so if they come back in your life, be cordial, be nice, you know. But don't allow them when you start popping off and, you know, got the little attitude or whatever, they're going to still feel like they got that over you. So don't allow them to do that. Let them, you know, they'll just scare the heck out of them when you're being polite and going about your business. And just prepare yourself for it because you will end up going through it one, one day or another because the universe is going to test you. If you sit up here and say, I'm that new person, they're going to play something back in your life just to see how you're going to react to it. It's like, okay, because you know God got that dark sense of humor. You know, I, I swear, he got a dark sense of humor where he will place things in your life just to see if you're going to react to it the way you used to react to it. But be nice. Be cordial. Not allow them to let them. You remember what they did. You know, the first time, shame on them. The second time, shame on you. So don't allow yourself to get put back in that circle again. But just remember enough to, you know, you know. But you can be cordial enough to say, hey, how you doing? All right, well, I'll see you later, you know, and going about your business. But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Please drop me a line. I would love the chance to hear from you, and, you know, and see what you got to say. And it's all greatly appreciated. I'm getting my, my post notification shot out to Diamond, uh, Diamond King. Much love to you. And um, who else? G. Nico, much love to you. Greg uh, from Poland, Holland, Holland, Poland. I don't know. I got to go look again. But, you know, much love to you as well. You know who I'm talking about. But like and subscribe. Drop me a line. Give me a thumbs up. Share. 
and I will see you later. Much love to you. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can because you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way. Now I'll see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.